Hey, how you doing? This is uh, Tom J with the uh, King Crab Beer Reviews, along with Marty, the beer burglar. How's it going, guys? Okay, so uh, we're doing a review today on something that is uh, wonderful. This is legendary. This is the, the legendary IPA from the Alchemist Brewery. This is what we have here, Hetty Topper. Hetty Topper. Okay, so this is a... Uh, like I said, this is, uh, an, uh, this is an ale, well, they call it an ale, but it's an IPA. Uh, it has an ABV of 8%, it has IBUs of 75. Rate beer gives it 100, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, 100 in the style, and Beer Advocate gives it 100. So it's 100 all the way around. Now, we've been waiting a long time we've for waiting, this. waiting some time. We were able to get this beer by making a beer trade with somebody. We actually had to trade away a couple different uh, cans. To get two cans of The Alchemist, we had to trade with our with a, a friend of ours, uh, Mike Skirbo. Uh, his, uh, he had a contact that was up in the Vermont area, and they came back. He was bringing back a bunch of uh, stuff out of Vermont, Hetty Topper being one of them. And we had to trade away a Julius, a Eureka, and a Bear, because we had, we had a couple of them. Yeah, a little treehouse, yeah, a little treehouse. It's well freeze. worth it, you know. Hey, listen, it's, it's, it's beer trade well, we at had, its best. We had the, uh, we did the, you know, we did the review on the, uh, on the Julius, and mm -hmm. we had plenty of it, so, you know, we got our fair share. It's, now, we so now to it's try this to, out. We had to try Hetty Topper. Yeah. We had to see what the hype was, and hopefully it lives up to the hype. I mean, all the scores are showing it. So today is going to be your Black Friday special, Hetty Topper. This is going to be good. So what do you say? Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, I think we're going to snap this open. Let's crack them. Mm. Okay, let's get it into the glass. As everybody knows uh, who watches beer reviews, it says drink from the can, uh, drink from the can, drink from the can. But, you know, in order for us to really give you, the viewers, uh, a look at it and see what it looks like out of the can, you have to pour it into a glass. Oh man, I smell it. I smell it already. Smell it already. Oh, okay. So this half, is what, half finger ahead. Yeah, I have I have one finger ahead. You have a half finger. Just depends on how aggressively you pour. Um, very cloudy, very very cloudy, almost opaque. Uh, just a, looks like juice. It looks like a. It looks like Julius. It, it looks like it looks like juice. It's it's very orangey, orangey yellow. With orange tints in it and completely cloudy. Can't see through it. No, not, not at all. Bit. Not at all. All right, we're gonna get a nose on it now. Oh, wonderful. I started sniffing at it while you were explaining it. Oh yes, sir. Smell the can too. It says drink out of the can. You know, the description on the can says um, to leave it in the can because a lot of the the scent and a lot of the uh, citrus notes and everything else that from the hops is gonna remain in the can. And when you pour it into a glass, you kind of lose that. I'm not really getting it. It's, it smells the same to me. Oh, well, it smells incredible. This is what I'm getting here. Uh, right up front, very juicy uh, or orange and grapefruit. I'm getting like very, very pungent, strong, fresh uh, orange juice, grapefruit, and a little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of lemon, maybe some pine. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, man. no dankness, Not no, any dank. it smells very bright, very right. fresh. Very fresh and bright smelling. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, smells great. Great nose. Exceptional nose. All right, so far so good. I'm impressed with that. It's like a room freshener. Yeah, this is good stuff. It smells it. Hey, if, you, if you're going to have to go to the bathroom and drop a deuce, bring in a can of Hetty Toppy. You could use it as, a, as an air freshener for the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it smells delicious. You know, I can sit here and just keep sniffing it, but it's making me thirsty, so... Uh, cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Mm-mm-mm. That is so good. I understand the hype. Oh, that is so freaking good. It's ridiculous. Oh, man. I, I you, kind of you, don't have you, words you, for this. You get more of the grapefruit notes. And the bitter, this bitterness bitter. feels like it's 
there's definitely, there's de definitely, there's, it's pulling at you, it's pulling at your palate. There's right. definitely a bitterness in here, but there's a, a definite fruity, fresh fruit, grapefruit, orange juice flavor coming right off the bat along with the bitterness. Um, uh, I'm getting a little bit of pine, a little bit of lingering, uh, a little bit of lingering bitterness, but the mouthfeel, this is another, you know, these New England beers, I have to say, that I don't know what they do, I don't know how they, how they uh, produce these types of beers, but they seem to all be doing the same thing up there, they're producing very creamy, very creamy, soft feeling um, beers, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, take a sip out of the can, it's different. It's different. I will. Did you swirl? It's, 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 it's brighter. I think I understand. A little brighter. A little I'm not. I'm, I mean, I'm not picking it up. But for me, uh, I don't. I don't doubt it. I mean, it's just. I'm not really picking it up. But uh, oh wow, this is delicious. Mm. This is one delicious beer. Man, oh man, oh man. See now this 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 confuses me because now I, you know, we have some of the offerings from Treehouse. And you know what? We've been giving out so many yeah. high marks. You know, it's, it's it's like it's like you, okay, you, you you thought you tasted the very best beer that you're ever going to taste. Then you come across something like this, and and it just totally throws you off. Now I don't know what to say, because this is, this is just completely delicious. This beer, oh. it really is. It really is, uh, another outstanding product from the New England area. It's it's mouthfeel. It's very very soft. Would you say it's luxurious? It's it's a very <laughs> luxurious mouth. No, no, well that's that's more for stouts. This is this is a more this is a more bright, uh, very bright but very smooth and creamy uh, mouthfeel. The carbonation is spot on. Uh, let me see. Uh, I I'll tell you what. Did you I smell it. Eight point oh ABV. It's eight point oh. I'm picking up some tropical fruit in here. And I have to say, the, um, the beer is a completely balanced beer. It's balanced perfectly. It's got some bitterness in there. It's, there's no question about it. It's, it's fairly bitter. It's not real, real bitter, but it's fairly bitter. But you have plenty of flavor to match that. You're tasting every bit of the 75 IBUs. That's yeah. That, 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 you know why? Because it's still pretty that's, fresh. That's, yeah. It's you're, not, you're, it's definitely, a, you're definitely tasting it. You definitely know that this is a double IPA. Um, this beer alcohol, is still under uh, still under a month, under a month the, old. The alcohol is not present at all. No, nope. Um, the bitterness up front, middle, and then it lingers and it lingers, punches you right in the face yeah. as you swallow it. Yeah, it's a it's nice incredible. fresh hop bitterness. Yeah, it's this the, the beer itself is incredible. Oh, right? it is. It's I unbelievable. Uh, all right, so what do you say we let this warm up a little bit? Because we did do it pretty cold. We started out with it pretty yeah. cold. So we're going to let it warm up a little bit and uh, see if we can't coax some more flavors out of here. I'm sure that there's going to be more to come. I'm already picking up some tropical fruit, which I didn't pick up in the beginning, and I'm, and I'm tasting a little bit, little bit of tropical and, and peach. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so we'll let it warm up. All right. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, uh, we're back uh, with the review of the, uh, the Alchemist Teddy Topper. Um, we let it warm up a little bit, Mark. Uh, did you did you notice anything else coming out in the in the flavors? I'm getting more of the peach. Um, definitely smelling more of the peach. I agree. I agree. The both of us had said off camera, as it was warming a little bit, we were getting a little bit more tropical fruit and some more peach coming mm -hmm. out of it, as well as as well as the orange. But we also noticed the nose on this uh, is is really screaming orange, mm -hmm. and it's screaming some tropical fruits uh, and some grapefruit. But when you taste it, it's more predominantly grapefruit, grapefruit. And, and a little bit less orange. So and if you notice, since we left about 20 minutes or so ago yeah. on, the on the first segment, the king looks a little younger. He got a facelift because he's getting pulled back by the bitterness. The bitterness. <laughs> <laughs> so he looks a little younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's, a, it's a natural face facelift, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Trish, start drinking a lot of these. Who, who needs to go under the knife? Just, just drink uh, IPAs, and you'll be, you'll be young as hell. Uh, All right, so um, yeah, this this beer, uh, this is out of uh, the Alchemist Brewery. Um, it's out of uh, Waterbury, Vermont. That's uh, that's where the uh, this beer originates from. I mean, I, I'm sure everybody knows anybody who's in the know 
knows about the Alchemist Brewery because of this beer and a couple of other beers that they put out there. We can't wait yeah. to get our hands on Focal Bank. Oh yeah, <laughs> if we can, we're gonna, we have to we have to try to get our hands on have that. Have to coax, yeah. coax yeah. Mike to go back up there and yeah. use his contacts to yeah. bring back some Focal Bank. We've been doing a lot of begging lately. <laughs> Anybody who leaves this area, we, 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 we scope them out, where, where, where are they going? Uh, and if we find out they're close to somewhere where um, there's a brewery, then we start begging. Yep. So. What do you say? Final thoughts? My final thoughts on this, uh, uh, final thoughts on this is that uh, the, uh, the tropical fruits and the peach flavor really uh, came out in the aroma as well as the taste as it warmed up. The beer is fantastic. All, all in all, this is going to get a high score from me. It's going to get the, the, the very high score from me. Uh, it's the world class beer. That's world right. class beer. Um, as far as a rating, um, I guess I'll go first. I'm, uh, I'll give this. I'm going to give this a hundred out of a hundred. There's no way I can't give it a hundred out of a hundred. It deserves it. It completely deserves it. This is a world class beer. This is one of the best beers I've ever had. So as far as uh, IPAs go. Yeah, so that's there. You have it from me. And as far as I go, uh, I'm gonna ditto that remark and that that grade. Uh, I'm gonna also give this a hundred. There's nothing nothing else you can give it but a hundred. Yeah, it can't, you can't it make is, it any better. It's absolutely wrong with it. world class. There's, yep. there's, um, you know, we were saying that you know, Julius Hetty Topper. Uh, this has a little bit more of uh, if you're if you're a New England person and you 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 know up in more in the Massachusetts area, this is slightly closer to Hayes at a treehouse, right. but we gave that a hundred also. I mean, yeah. they're, 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 this yeah. is a hundred beer. I mean, you're no splitting doubt. hairs when it comes to that, yeah, when it comes to that point, you know. Uh, do, you, do you prefer one slightly, maybe one slight hop difference? It's splitting hairs. Yes. It's a hundred beer. There's nothing wrong with this beer that either one of us could find. We have no fault with it. One thing I will tell you, though, is if you're not a beer reviewer, and you're just out there to drink a few beers and, and you, you get your hands on some of this heady topper, by all means, listen to what the instructions on the can is telling you. Drink it from the can because I'm preferring it out of the can. I'm getting a little more, yeah. of the, I'm getting a little more bitter back end. And we it's, do it for, it's very powerful. We do this for, for review purposes. We put it in the glass. But, uh, you know, I'm not picking it up as, um, as, as much as the burger. But, but um, I, you know, but he's saying that he tastes a big Excuse difference. Me. And uh, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue with that. Not big. I, I, not yeah. big just, right. you know, it's just I'm getting a little. Right. And I can see, and I can see why. The, the explanation on the can says it. Uh, if you drink it out of the can, you're getting a lot of the essential smells and oils that maybe mm -hmm. you might lose when it gets transferred into the glass. Yep. So. All right. All right. So well, what do you say? we're going to close out on this. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're done here. Uh, if you see this beer, if you can get your hands on it, tough to get. But if you if you if you can see it around, if you see it around anywhere, or to get in a beer trade, do it. You will. You won't be sorry. This is the Alchemist Heady Topper. This is uh, Tom J, along with Marty, the beer burglar. We're signing off, and always remember, until next time, to drink responsibly. See you next time. Bye bye.